News here, singer R. Kelly unable to come up with $161,000 in child support today, and as a result, he is heading back to jail. He learned his fate at the Daily Center this afternoon. His publicist says he was expecting to make an arrangement to pay and be able to leave, but the judge wants the entire amount. The publicist claims Kelly was willing to pay fifty or $60,000. And nobody wins. The kids still, they still don't have any money. So at the end of the day, he's locked up. Andrea and her kids, they still don't have anything. Johnson hopes to get R. Kelly out by next Wednesday, but he'll be in jail until he pays the full amount. Meantime, the family of one of Kelly's girlfriends is pleading with her to come home. The Savage family lives outside Atlanta, and they held a news conference before getting a surprising phone call. WGN's Patrick Elwood has more on that from the Daily Center. Patrick? Good evening, R. Kelly, the headline, now going back to jail, the Cook County Jail being processed as we speak, likely. That as he breaks his silence, talking for the first time on national TV. Much younger than me. I just look at legal. I just look at you, you, I, me. Now, I don't know if you're married. I don't know. I don't know if you had a relationship. I don't know what you, you know, I don't know. But one might be older than the other. One might be younger than the other, okay? So I just look at legal. That was Kelly last night saying the two women he currently has relationships with are of adult age. Today, he was at the Daily Center appearing before a judge on owed child support to the tune of $161,000 in back payments. Unable to pay, he has been taken into custody and is being sent to the Cook County Jail. The parents of the two women who live with Kelly believe the 52-year-old R&B star brainwashed their daughters into being part of his alleged sex cult. Kelly claims he met both women when they were of legal age, and the parents of the two gave permission to him to date them. But they called Kelly a liar, sociopath, and manipulator. They spoke out this morning from their hometown of Atlanta, Georgia, as they pled for Jocelyn to please come home. Jocelyn is one of the two women that he dates. Only thing I want to say, Jocelyn, if you're seeing this message, please know that I love you. I'm your mother. I love you dearly. Um, nothing that we've done was to defame you or to embarrass you. It's because we care about your well-being. We went from seeing you or talking to you daily or weekly to not seeing you in two years. Also today, Jocelyn Savage's parents calling her directly and were able to speak to her briefly with the repeated message, stop what you're doing and please come home. Hey, Jocelyn, this is Mommy. I, I'm, I'm, this is Jocelyn. Um, I just want to let you know, like right now, I used to listen, like you're listening to me. I have told you guys a million, million times that I am okay when I am and I'm happy. Well, I just want to let you know that I so the gentleman we heard from at the top of the report, R. Kelly's publicist, says he simply just does not have that money. So he will stay in jail unless he could get some kind of loan. Absent that, he'll be back in court sometime later next week. Reporting from the Daily Center, Patrick Elwood, WGN News. Back to you guys in the studio.